man, David Stern got to be rolling over in his motherfucking grave. He trying to get up out that motherfucker. He trying to come see what Adam Silver got going on. David Stern got to be looking at this league and saying, this ain't what I left this motherfucker. Yeah. Y'all see how these boys cutting up over here? These boys showing a whole ass in the NBA. They showing a whole ass. America. Look, look, look. Okay. Y'all know, if you don't know, David Stern was the commissioner of the NBA who preceded Adam Silver. Okay. David Stern was the commissioner of the NBA for like 30 years, if I'm not mistaken. I think he came in like the same year Michael Jordan came in. And a lot of folks credit him and Jordan taking the league to a whole nother level. Like he he was blessed to come in and already have uh Larry Bird and Magic Johnson in the league. And you know how people credit that rivalry, the racial undertones with it and everything. Uh Magic and Larry being with these two marquee franchises in the Celtics and Lakers, both coast, big markets, all that kind of stuff. Okay, cool. He inherited that. But then Michael Jordan comes in and he really starts to you know, sell Magic, Bird, Michael, selling the individual players, starting to clean up the league with some of the shit that folk were talking about. Y'all saw the stuff like on the last day, they were talking about uh, the traveling cocaine circus or something like that. Like NBA allegedly had a dope problem. Really, it seemed like I'm, uh, NBA in some people's eyes had a black problem. You know, they, they were thinking there's a. Uh, too many black people in the league and i guess those black people in their eyes were well acting black too to the stereotype of what we are you know that bullshit. but hey by most people's account it wasn't just no stereotypical bullshit, no racist let's say like the nba did have a drug problem at least uh and an image problem with all the fighting and shit like that which a lot of people miss that but David Stern, I guess you could say cleaned up a lot of that. Got tough. Oh, uh, but if he looked at this league right now, he'd be like, God, he'll give his, his, his young boy Adam Silver a scolding. Look at what these boys doing over here. Right now in that league, these boys don't give a fuck about no contract. They don't give a fuck. They'll sign a contract today, and two weeks from now, they'll tell your motherfucking ass, hey, man, I want all this shit. I need to move around. We've seen this a few times now. I know Kevin Durant is the recent uh, version of this, but, but me, we, we've seen that with Anthony Davis. We've seen that with James Harden. Like, we, we, we've we seen this shit. Them boy won't out, they won't out. You know what I'm saying? And I know some might be thinking like Draymond Green was saying, well, they're businessmen and we're businessmen and uh, we'll brand ourselves. And, um, you know, KD put himself in that position. KD ain't Michael Jordan. M Michael Jordan wouldn't able to do shit like that. Now, Scottie Pippen isn't KD, but Scottie Pippen was uh, the small forward of the 90s. You feel me? And we see how his relationship was with Jerry Crow. You saw Pip try to get gangster with them boys in 98. Still end up playing. He knew they were going to end up finding him. You know what I'm saying? David Stern, them boys, they weren't going for that shit. Now, they're, they're, now were there players who were able to demand a trade and get out of shit? I think Kareem was able to force his way to L.A. I think Barkley was able to force his way out of Philadelphia. Oh, uh, so you did see some of that. See, some of the old heads be kind of like capping, acting like they didn't make any kind of moves. They did get some guys fired back then. People say that Magic got uh that first coach that they wanted to ship with fired. I, I'm uh, I lose his name right now. Maybe Paul Westhead, something like that. So them boys wielded some power back then too, but man, woo! 
He boy cutting up, but get away from the contract. He boy back being open with the dope now. He boy back being open with the dope, and maybe that's maybe that's because the the country has become more lax when it comes to marijuana. For instance, to the point where you got your boy KD was on some with uh, I think David Letterman, and let that motherfucker know, look, I'm high right now. It's legal in many states. Still illegal at the federal level, which is fucking crazy. But I saw, I think that was Miles Bridges. That motherfucker post a cup of lean. Is that is that what we saw? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But I do know it was Miles Bridges. Who got some songs out this motherfucker? That motherfucker Miles Bridges got a record. Well, he's talking about putting two dots on forehead like a fitted cap. This motherfucker Miles Bridges talking about shooting folks in this bitch. This motherfucker Miles Bridges got a record. Well, he say something to the effect of, I ain't gonna fight with my bitch. She might tase me. And then I'll be goddamn. He just got jammed up on a domestic violence charge. David Stern rolling over his motherfucking grave. I'm telling you. But like, these boy real loose with the language now. Listen to that Miles Bridges record. Just type in Miles Bridges song after you watch all segments and put it on something, by the way. Okay? And, and, and after you do that right there, make sure you fucking subscribe. Make sure you motherfucking subscribe. Okay, but I digress. This man, Miles Bridge, listen to the record. He's saying shit in his records I don't say. I don't motherfucker be talking about my language. I don't say though, that type of shit. I use old words, but I ain't talking like, like I, I talk about shooting a motherfucker in self-defense. He did. Hey, he said if a motherfucker reached for his chain, he gonna do something to him. Okay, that's self-defense. That boy talking about some other shit in that bitch too. Taking all kind of dope. That we talking about the bars. Boy, Alan Iverson, I know AI didn't listen to some of this shit. Like, David Stern would have thrown my ass out the league. Y'all remember, they say AI got bars. They say Alan Iverson got bars. It was about to drop a record, but they were like, it was too explicit, if I'm not mistaken. Shit, AI might have went double platinum in this era. AI, how, how popular that motherfucker still is? Shit. Bring AI out right now. Tattoo, corn rolls, and dropping balls like that. And, and going to get 30. Miles Bridges ain't like that. AI got goddamn first battle Hall of Famer. Let a first battle Hall of Famer drop some gangster shit like that right now. Shit. Never dream of it, boy. All the motherfuckers that were cussing like that openly when I was coming up. In the league, just open like in their interviews and even these boy wild out in the interviews too. Now, of course, on the podcast, they just say whatever the fuck they want to say. The boy Rondo, a wild boy, I ain't know he was a wild boy like that. But they been they been just open. But without coming up, the only motherfucker that would do that was uh Dennis Rodman and Charles Barkley, who had reputations for being bad boys. Like a lot of these cats today who are who are doing this, some of this wild. Ain't no bad boys, but they just free. You know what I'm saying? They they have more freedom. They have more freedom. Now I don't know if you can chop that up to, to Adam Silver, different kind of owners, or just a different climate in America. But these boys got more freedom. But like I said, it's some serious shit going on too, though. When you start talking domestic violence, like like Miles Bridges got, you start talking to D DUI like Devontae Graham recently got. Then you starting to, you know, get into a space where I right, now y'all can reel this shit back in. I don't know. I know if half the shit that going on in the league right now was going on, David Stern had them boy back in them suits. David Stern had AI back in them suits. David Stern, because of my boy AI, put motherfuckers in them suits. Okay. Shit crazy. That boy Allen Iverson 
was, was crucified for y'all's sins right now. All y'all motherfuckers out here, Draymond Greens of the world and, 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 and the Miles Bridges and uh, all y'all that feel free to just be yourself and get all the tats and, and cuss how you want to cuss and do all that kind of stuff. AI took them arrows. Man, everybody painted this man just as a super thug when he came out. You feel me? Shit, I was a younger, and you know, again, being a motherfucker that love Michael Jordan and Kobe, Michael Jordan and Kobe presented themselves as squeaky clean to the media back then. So, you know, as a as a young impressionable motherfucker, I was thinking that's the way it's supposed to be. You know what I'm talking about? So I was even like looking at AI like, damn, AI gonna get it. AI wild a little bit, ain't it? Because I'm thinking you call you supposed to handle yourself like Mike. Now you when you grow grow and learn better, you, you know what I'm talking about, you supposed to do better. And you understand AI is just a real ass motherfucker. AI just real ass motherfucker from the hood. You no know, raised by a single mother and shit like that. Like so many of us are like I am. You know what I'm saying? That's a real ass dude. Ambassador of the game. But it's like these boys. These boys today got freedoms that them boys back then couldn't even dream of. Now we see Michael Jordan was a wild boy. We see that. But the shit that folks were trying to jam him up on, uh, like talking shit to his teammate. Shit, Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler talked shit to motherfuckers on the internet. Y'all just saw him the other day? I think what, what PJ Tucker going to the Sixers man? He what did he tell PJ? Fuck you or something like that? Oh, no, he said something crazy to PJ. Online. See, all that shit Michael Jordan was talking, we never heard Mike say that shit to them boys until the last dance. We never heard that. All that gambling Mike was doing, man, these, these boys don't give a fuck no more. These boys doing all that shit. This summer league in Vegas for a reason. They do. The boy have a good time out there too. It's a different league, man. And I'm being facetious about everything. I, I don't give a fuck. Me personally, I, I don't give a fuck. They're entertainers. They're entertainers. They're not, uh, as Charles Barkley once pointed out, they ain't no fucking role models. Uh, other than if you're trying to emulate what they are able to do uh, with their athletic talents, you need to emulate their work ethic. You need to em emulate their conditioning and emulate their weight training and emulate uh, their skill training emulate that but other than that these motherfuckers are, 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 are entertainers man and so you can't take a lot of this shit seriously uh, and so as parents when it comes to some of this extra shit they doing it's on us to kind of shield our kids away from that you know focusing on the game just like we do with all the other entertainers you feel me but as somebody who grew up in that Dave, david stern era uh so i'm born in 1984 you feel me? So to see the way that motherfucker was kind of like ruling the league with an iron fist, and now I see how much leeway these guys are getting now. Uh, it is it is a stark contrast. So every time we see these boy wilding, whether we hear somebody drop the uh a, a, a rant, we see a motherfucker asking out of the contract, uh, we see somebody uh you know what I'm saying? Just, 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 just wilding. We be like, we just sent a text in our group chat. We be like, man, David Stern rolling over his motherfucking grave. Because <laughs> he can't believe. But I tell you what, for real, for real though, if whatever these guys doing start hurting that bottom line, watch them on us. Watch them on us. Now, like fans with the country, not like not honoring these country. I, I, I'm interested to see what the fuck gonna go down in this collective bargaining agreement. Like, are these owners gonna still be laxed in? You still only got one black owner now. One. Okay? So how progressive the NBA try to act like this? Okay. The, the, the NBA knows that its fan base is a more liberal fan base, it's a more global fan base, so some of the shit that would piss off an NFL fan might not piss off an NBA fan. You feel me? 
Uh, so they don't even be giving a fuck as long as it don't hurt the bottom line. The shit with these contracts, we we gonna see about that. Now, actually, I think the way these boys be forcing these moves don't really be hurting the bottom line. One because he owners let them do it. They under contract, they ain't gotta, they ain't gotta do shit. If they sit out, okay, you lose. What 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 holes say that time? The next could go over 82 when I look at you like this shit gravy, like because they ain't gonna phase him. That's what Bates trying to say. Oh, uh, whatever fine they gave him back in the day. He's saying what so if it wasn't phase hove, who just a recent bill, you know, you know, goddamn where it wouldn't phase somebody like a Steve Ballmer or somebody who the NBA teams for most of the owners, it's just they play money. It's just that shit they do to have fun. You feel me? Like, y'all know how we have fantasy teams and shit like that. Or we play the video games and have our teams. They do that shit in real life. Because they ain't already got their money in some other industry. You feel me? So, I feel like if these owners really gave a fuck about that, they just crack down and say, hey, okay, you sit out. You ain't gonna make no money. Fuck this shit. I'm, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Because it, what, it, what, it, what happens with all of the players changing teams so much it keeps us engaged when KD demanded that damn trade bro we were like NBA Twitter went crazy big sports media went crazy I think Skip and Shannon motherfucking ass came back off a of vacation and like Steve and they was on vacation yeah and had to chime in be a satellite like man that shit leads to us talking more 2k probably love it because now nah, some folks might not update the roster. They might just want to get the new game for the roster changes. All that kind of shit, bro. No, so they know that. That's that. That's their bottom line. You know what I'm saying? So I still feel like these motherfuckers let them get away with shit loans. They ain't hurting the money. You feel me? But David Stern, if he saw it, he look at his boy Adam Silver and say, "Man, what the fuck you doing?" <laughs> Tell me what y'all think, man. Those of y'all OGs who remember that David Stern era, how y'all think David Stern would uh handle all the shit that's going on in the league right now? All right? Put it on some. My kids wanted me to tell y'all to make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me across all social media platforms, like the videos, and share them. Did I forget anything? Enter on the post notifications. Y'all heard them. And also, Visit Statement Tees, LLC.com and shop with us. That's Statement Tees. Every t-shirt you wear makes a statement.